Hey y'all, so I decided to keep it going and do a twin flame slash soul, not self-love, soulmate collective reading. I pulled out three different spreads, so you just choose whichever spread. If you're on a um, twin flame slash soulmate journey, um, you pick the spread that most resonates with your situation. Um, do not force these messages Obviously, if you're, if you're not in any of those journeys, then obviously this video is not for you. So you just choose one. So we're going to start with um, number one, okay? We're going to start with spread number one. So the first card, you got the five of sword um, reverse. So with this, I feel like the journey is still on the go. There is no personal defeat. There is, it's still on a go. But it's at a standstill. Somebody's not satisfied. I think it's because I feel like with this um, spread that this Twin Flames last soulmate couple is still separated. They're still separated. It could be that they haven't actually met yet and they're kind of like telepathically communicating. Or it could be that they did reunite, but nothing's happening. <laughs> nothing's happening. There's no movement here with the two of pentacles reversed. And I feel like it's maybe some outside influences that kind of is just out of control, which is causing the blockage. And then you got the nine of pentacles reversed. So it's just like there's no there's no satisfactory here. There's no rewards because nothing's happening. It's like somebody or maybe both parties just kind of disconnected from the the connection just for a second. But I feel like they're gonna come right back. gonna come right back and it's gonna be stronger than ever they took some time away from the connection and when you take some time away i feel like some of you need to take some time because when you do that um that's not yeah that's the right card i just make sure it was in order um it's gonna be stronger than ever it's gonna be stronger than ever Oh, my headphone coming out. And I feel like when you do that too and take some time away, um, your partner will communicate with you telepathically, sorry, telepathically and send you some downloads, okay? And this is the card I pulled out. When you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. I feel like some of you are a little anxious, and it could be, like I said, outside influences. It could be work. It could be school. It could be your friends. It could be your family. And sometimes you got to step away and take a break um, from the connection or just for everything. And then once you come back, you'll be energized and stronger than ever, and the connection can build back up. So that's the first spread. This is the second spread. So this is what I pulled for the second spread. I feel like some of you just started this this journey and you just discovered who your person is or you just met your person. New beginnings. How it, now, I guess since that somebody just stepped in their feminine energy and is going through a transformation, it could be a man or a woman or it could be both partners. However... I get a sense that the energy is out of control. There's no discipline. I sense a child in the mix. It could be that both you and your person have they you guys have children together, or from different separates uh, separations, <laughs> different situations separated separately. You guys have children, and the situation with the other parent could be a bit toxic okay yeah see that somebody needs to take a break and they're not taking the break like they're supposed to 
Somebody's not taking a break. They need a break. See that? There's no... Again, no rewards. Nothing. Because um, it's just nothing but negative energy. Because that's it's just too much going on. Um, I just get a sense that it's not, whatever the situation is, you're not benefiting from it. It's not benefiting from it and it's not providing stability at all. I feel like maybe somebody has, is having money issues. Possibly. But when you cut out the negative shit out your life. You and your twin flame, both of you, it will make your connection that much stronger. See that? Rewards if you do that. When you do that. And you'll get your justice, your karma. And the other person that's causing you the distress will get their karma as well. And this is the when I pulled out. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck of your life. The only way to manifest is your energy has to be right. Your energy has to be right. You got to do, you got to cut this energy out. If you want to really manifest whatever it is that you want, whether it's your, you know, as well as, you know, connecting with your soulmate slash twin flame, you got to cut out this bad shit. That's what's blocking it. Okay. Once you cut that out. You will be rewarded. Okay, so that's the second deck. Now the last deck. Okay, the last one. I put I picked the first one up by accident. This is what I pulled out. So I feel like some of you just started this journey. Or you've been on this journey for a minute. And I feel like th- y'all are definitely separated. And you feel somebody or maybe both of y'all feel like it's too good to be true. You're confused by the connection. It's like you, you don't know what's going on. Some of you think it's too good to be true. It's not real. Twin flame, soulmate, that's not even a real concept. But you're still going to stick to it. Whatever it is, you're going to stick to it. You're not going to leave. I'm going to stay beside them. That's what that, that's what that card is giving me. It's giving me I'm going to stay beside them type energy. But... With that, I don't think this is a bad thing. I feel like somebody stepped into some masculine energy. Some daddy energy. And they getting things done. Because it leads to this. Sun card. You saw the light. You saw the light. For some, I feel like... This could be a type of connection where somebody is high, highly profiled. Okay, or they got a lot of clout, or they just feel, or maybe you feel like this person is not obtainable because of who they are. But no. You got your answers, okay? Now, I do feel like there's some dusties in the mix. Um... Male or female, it could be friends or anybody, and you are constantly defending your connection to your person. It's almost like they want you to. I get a sense of there's like somebody in the situation who doesn't want you to be with your twin flame, who does not want you to be with your soulmate. I get a sense of false twin energy here, or a hater, <laughs> a hater on the low. You know, and it's just causing a lot of stress. It's causing a lot of stress and pressure because you're constantly defending the connection. It's driving you nuts, which I feel like you probably feel going back to that first card with the moon, like you feel crazy. But you know you're not crazy. But if you was to go with this person who's deterring you away, that's why I feel like this is a false... I think I feel like this is a false situation. I feel like somebody is trying to tell you that they're there that oh, I'm your twin flame. I'm your twin. I'm your person. But they're not. 
It's false, okay? You know who your person is. This card told you who your person was. But then somebody came in and was like, I'm your person. But it's not true. It's not true. It's, he's called, he or she or, is causing problems. Which is why you felt this way. Could be a third party, you know? Wheel of Fortune. You take a chance on this false flame. Because I feel like this is a false flame. It's not going to go well for you. But I feel like that false flame is going to point you to your twin. And you're going to go back to that connection. They want you to think that your twin flame is boring. And you're not going to look at the false twin as a disappointment. Because it's just going to just get you back you know, to your journey. Almost like they were supposed to show you something. Okay. This is definitely like a twin flame slash false flame is trying to come in and fuck shit up. Okay. Fuck up your peace. This is why you got this card. Do not seek it without peace. Peace comes from within. So I get a sense that this is a false trying to fuck with your peace, trying to deter you away from your twin flame by making you feel like you're crazy and make you feel like that's not your twin flame when you know who your twin flame is you've been getting downloads you've been having dreams you have telepathically communicated with this person and here comes this false trying to tell you no i'm your twin you know they do that the false flame will act like that's the twin flame but really they're not okay so you pick the deck that you most resonate with Okay? Thank you.